Okay, so today, I'm, I thought I was late, but apparently I can still do it. Um, I'm going to try to plant broccoli in two buckets and see if I can get a harvest off of that. I'm not starting them in little containers. I'm just going to put them in the uh, five gallon buckets um, where they'll end up anyway if they grow. So yeah, let's do it my way. Let's see if it works or not. Never know until you try. Plus it's like a, I don't know, it makes sense what they're saying, but um, they're going to end up in the big buckets anyway. So I think I'm going to plant four seeds per bucket, um, t you know, in case something doesn't uh, germinate and then uh, thin them as I need to. But so I'm going to take you out to the garage, part way in the garage, and show you the buckets that I made earlier today with this handy tool that my husband uh, let me use. So I'm excited about that. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Out of the little happy house. Let's take a pit stop. So the morels are still sitting in their little baggies on my table open. I don't know if that is good. Is that the mycelium for the mushrooms um, <laughs> in there or are they just getting moldy? Anybody know? I should send that to the North Shore people. Is that morel mushroom spawn or is it just mold? So anyway, that's a next project. So hopefully, hopefully it's morel spawn. Okay, just wanted to share. Whoop, back to what we were doing. Here, here, turn light on. Make sure I don't lock myself out. So my husband gave me this thing. Uh, I, I had seen somebody do it with a paddle attachment, but he gave me this thing on this drill to put holes in my buckets and it's the snazziest thing and I uh, hate to tell him, but um, I'll be using it a lot probably. <laughs> Here it is. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? So what it does is it puts holes in the bucket. Different, you can do different sizes, which is really cool. So I set up this area over here in the garage and you can see all the stuff I need to clean up. Um, <laughs> before I was taking a little tiny drill and putting holes in it and then trying to, trying to take this blade and cut them out and it worked, but it was hard and it took forever and it wasn't as good as these. So that thing let me make holes this big in the bottom of my bucket. So I got five, uh, one of them's got six holes in it, I think. One, two, three, four. yeah, this one has six holes in it, which, but they still, I think those holes are going to be plenty good for drainage. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, I have six buckets here to try to plant stuff in. And like I said, if it doesn't work, well, guess what? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. But um, the dirt will be set up for next year. <laughs> that's my thought on it. So, <clears throat> but that's my plan is to get some of these filled up and, um, I'm gonna plant broccoli and let's see what happens. The kind I have is called Sun King Hybrid or something. And it's supposed to go from seed to harvest. I think it was 60, 61 days or 71 days. So it's August 4th today. Um, so hopefully it works. Wish me luck. Sorry, I got sidetracked, I'm out here. Started seeing a bunch of stuff I needed to do because during the week I can't do a whole lot of anything by the time I get home and everything. So <clears throat> did some pruning and pulled a little bit of weeds here and there and put some uh, stuff to get rid of some pests on my other plants. So, <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, so I got my buckets out and then I'll show you what I'm doing here. <sighs> well. It's the only time that I have to do this, so that's why I'm out here in the hot. So, <laughs> I got that one bag filled up all this right here. Of course, I spilled a bunch of it on the ground. Got a lot of back problems, knee problems, arm problems, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's really hard to do this. So, um, but I'm not a sissy. And, you know, I, I can do it. I just take me longer and I'll pay for it more later. <laughs> so, anyway, here's what I got so far. So that's what that filled up. Filled the six buckets up to about that far. <clears throat> These ones I left part full. Well, I didn't have enough dirt for all of them anyway, but 
uh, two of those at least um, are going to be to transplant the, those guys. I'm going to try not to disrupt the dirt too much uh, when I do it. So that's what's going on there. Um, I'm going to go get water, water these all down real good, and then water my other plants. <clears throat> and then when it comes uh, in about 20 minutes from now, I'll come back out and transplant the ones, add more dirt to whatever else needs dirt, and hopefully get those you know, seeds planted too today that I want to that I want to do so woo. um yeah so that's the plan man uh, look at my beets there are my beets so they're going crazy and I heard that the hot weather is not good for them so I'm gonna put a black piece of material on top I put that cage in there to try that to see if I can slow that down a little bit we're getting there I promise we're getting there <laughs> I promise not to fall over until I'm done. Okay, here they are. I'm going to start getting the buckets watered. You won't have to watch all this. I'll just show you a little bit. I'm going to get them soaking wet. Because that is the dirt that's packed down real tight. So, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if it'll spring up or go down, but it'll probably go down because of the water. Um, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm just get these soaking wet here. I'll go back when when I'm done showing you this. I'll come back and water them some more. So I, want, I want all that dirt to get wet. Especially for those ones I'm planting. Those peppers there um, that I'm planting the knees. I want this water good and wet, or the dirt good and wet, so that <laughs> the uh, plants will hopefully not have too much shock to their leaves and you know I think that'll do it for that one <laughs> yeah, you get the idea anyway that's what we're doing Blah! then I'm gonna I'm in the meantime I'm actually watering things as I'm out here my little nasturtiums like it in my weedy garden see them over there in that orange that orange over there that's them there's some over there they're pretty good size too so yep these holes are that i drilled with that drill i showed you they're actually draining a lot better than my buckets i did with the little tiny holes and dug them out with a razor blade amazing what a good tool do huh i'm getting a nice little batch of tomatoes on there turning red those are the early girl they're falling down on the ground and everything else so I'm like, woohoo, happy about that. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to plant these, transplant these two peppers. Uh, and I really hope that they don't die because they do have some peppers on them, even though the little pesties are trying to get them. So um, put a lot of work in this guy. Believe it or not, I have. I know with the weeds and stuff, but like I said, you're welcome to come over and weed for me. I don't care. Um, it's not affecting the potted plants. So uh as far as well that one it might have because the weeds got up to that and i think that's where the little evil bugs might have came from unless it was from a ooh, that little butterfly but anyway um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try to transplant those and i hope that they live so what i'm gonna do like i said is um take the see if i can pop those out of there pop them in the bucket and then just cover them up with dirt and i'm really hoping they live Whew. well there's that one he's definitely root bound and then this one, I get out there and can't do it with one hand, but you probably can get the idea. Look at that. Can you see that? Yeah, they need to transplant it. Hopefully they will do well. And the water's def or the poles are definitely wet. My phone is getting dirty. <laughs> well, well, we got those planted, transplanted. And that's whooped. So uh, I got one bucket full pretty much full um, I put four seeds in it and I'm gonna come back tomorrow because I can't I'm I'm done <laughs> and I'll fill this other bucket up plant some more seeds in that I'll probably top that other one off plant some more seeds in that because I don't know if they'll grow being that deep the other ones so but here's what we got we get that done Got those guys transplanted to see how they do and then that one I already put some seeds in right there uh, this one I'm not going to because I don't have enough dirt to fill it up. But I will come back tomorrow 
and fill both of them up to the top. I'll put more seeds down in there. I'll put four more seeds down in there when it's up to the top. And then uh, we'll see how they go. Uh, whew, I really hope those peppers make it because I really want some peppers. <laughs> so anyway, I did get the some cucumbers or not what are those things called broccoli planted. So um, it really won't count till tomorrow, I guess. So I'll let you guys see those when they come up in a couple of weeks. So, <laughs> all right, thanks for uh, spending time with me and um, I'm going in, I'm going to get a shower and uh, I'm going to take it easy because this old girl's tired. Here's what I, my lovely, I washed them off, but have the hose, but here's what my lovely hands and fingernails look like. Yummy. <laughs> so, yeah. Arms don't look too bad. I got most of that off. Yep. There it is. All right. Well, thanks for spending some time with me. And uh, what do you think? Do you think those peppers will make it? Do you think the, um, you think the broccoli will grow? Once I get the rest of it planted. <laughs> so I still got to mess with those mushrooms. Um, we've gone, we're actually going somewhere this weekend. So uh, hopefully Hopefully Sunday I'll get it done. I don't know. Ah, I've been stressed out about everything, but I'm starting. I'm knocking them off my list slowly. So, yay me! Yay me! <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.